This video demonstrates the Report Inspect and Update tool integrated into Visual Cut. I'll right-click one of the reports, and this menu option allows me to inspect either a particular report, several reports, or all reports within a directory tree. I'll use that option. Select this folder and click OK. A scanning process is now going on for all reports within that folder. And at the end, we can see that 238 expressions and fields were found across four reports. The grid shows us all those objects. We can see the object name, the object type, the section, the expression, the expression type, and you can see the various expression types that are scanned here. Some of them are dynamic expressions, such as whether the object is suppressed or enabling new page after. Some of them are just database fields how many times the object is used within the report, an error message in case the expression doesn't compile, and a status column. We can easily filter the grid by object type, for example. So I can say that I want to see only formulas, or maybe only group format expressions, or simple fields. I'll select all objects again and filter by expression type. So for example, if I want to see only expression types of enable suppress, here they are. I'll reverse that change and demonstrate that we can export the whole content to Excel. So I click on this export button, allows me to select an Excel file to send the content to, open that Excel file, and here's all the content presented now within Excel. We can elect to search and replace expressions within this grid. We can do so for formulas or dynamic expressions, or we can do so for just static text objects. So for example, if I filter on text, I can change this from some text to new text. Let's see how that works. First, I'm going to unfilter, and under the Update Formulas menu option, I'll select Find and Replace. So the first thing I'd like to find and replace is this test plus one expression. Test plus one should be changed into let's elect to do an ampersand operator instead of plus sign so i'll click replace now i get a dialog that it found and replaced one expression and i can see the background color here changed to highlight the fact that this got changed and we can see that the status is pending another change that i'm going to elect to do is to change some text into new text now this told us that it found and replaced 20 expressions across the report. And if I scroll down, I can see some of them. The next step in the process is to actually update the RPTs. To make the process secure, instead of updating the RPT files and replacing them, new versions of the RPT files get saved to a temporary location. So I'll select Update RPTs and Save to Temp Folder. The background colors now are changing for all the objects that are actually being updated. And at the end of the process, I'm told that four updated reports were saved to this temp folder. Now the temp folder is always under the temp location for the user, under a subfolder called updated RPTs, and a date and time stamped subfolder. I'll click OK or Yes to see that subfolder. And if I go in here, I can see all those reports. I'll double click to open one of them. Notice that the text objects here now say new text. And the formula test now has test ampersand one instead of test plus one. You can then copy all the RPT files that got updated after you confirm that they got updated to your satisfaction and replace the old reports.